every time our guys step foot into the cage, the first thing that they're gonna do is hit off the tee. Matt's just gonna get in his stance and everything, his shoulders, his hips, his eyes are completely facing that pitcher. The second thing is the tee positioning. As you can see, that tee's just off his front foot. I think a lot of guys, you know, when they're hitting off, off a tee, they want to just put the tee on home plate when really that's going to create a deep point of contact. Um, we're trying to get our bear on the zone as long as possible so that if we are a little bit ahead or if we are a little bit beat, we're still going to work that ball up the middle and have that true good balanced swing all throughout our swing. Um, along with the tee positioning is how we place the ball on the tee. Uh, we, want, we want to focus in on the inner half of that baseball to create and train proper hand pass. Um, and what we do is basically on our baseballs, we have a little SEC logo and I'll kind of cock, cockeyed stagger it, facing the hitter a little bit. So now when he's approaching that ball with his barrel, he's focusing on that SEC. It's a smaller, fo it's a smaller point of focus, it's uh, sharpening our focus, and it's gonna allow us to keep our hands inside the baseball, even though we're hitting it up the middle. And we do that to all angles, whether we're hitting the ball opposite field or pool, we still wanna stay inside the ball, even when we're pulling it properly instead of coming around it. The third thing, and arguably the most important, is that timing phase, all right? I think a lot of times as youngsters, you'll see kids jump in off the tee and automatically step swing, step swing, step swing. And maybe the results are there. Maybe they're hitting line drives to the back, but that's not gonna be able to translate into a game when you got a guy throwing 85 to 90 miles per hour. So when Matt's in his setup, everything's gonna be symmetrical, facing that pitcher, okay? And he's gonna envision that release point, the ball coming to the tee, and all he's gonna do is have a load phase right, right like you just saw it, and then from there he's gonna put off his swing and fire. And then the last thing is the point of contact. All right, a lot of times hitters have the tendency of being top heavy when they're hitting off the tee. Their arms will take over their swing, which they think they're generating power, but it's actually slowing them up throughout the, the, when the ball's in the hitting zone. So we try to incorporate and force our guys to use their lower half, even when hitting off the tee. I want them to have a violent lower half and be really aggressive on that lower half. And that's our foundation as we're putting off our swing. And then the hands will follow suit. Staying inside the baseball, that's why the ball's positioned that way. A lot of times hitters have the tendency, they'll, you know, they'll pick up the pitcher and as they, they go to focus in on the baseball, their head will kind of dive into the ball. And it creates a lot of head movement, a lot of body movement, which makes it go like this. One thing Matt's doing a good job of is as he's tracking that ball, his eyes are coming down to it, but his head is staying nice and still, which is gonna allow him to be consistent in the zone. That's what we're looking for. Um, each of them, you know, before every game has their own individual routine, um, but for the most part, what it consists of is hitting maybe eight to 10 up the middle, eight to 10 opposite field, eight to 10 on the inner half, and then maybe another eight to 10 right up the middle to finish off.